Tapi in northern Namibia. About 6,700 people live in this vibrant upcoming city. Utapi serves as the district capital of Umusati, a region with 200,000 inhabitants. More and more informal settlements arise fast on Utapi's outskirts. The communal water and electricity authorities can hardly keep pace with this fast growth. Above all, sanitation facilities for the informal settlements are often insufficient. In 2013, the Utapi Town Council took over the operation of an innovative sanitation and water reuse facility. The facility has been developed by the German Namibian research project Kuva Waters. I'm a Kuva Water, Oyoko Kyo for Mune, for making it a Koshipa, a Pango Yoshimera, a Kotakari to Yoshime, Oshimera Tashi and Dere Monara, Okio and Nosawa Konar. Kuve water is trying to help our communities who are in need. So there was a need of wash house, individual toilets and other like toilets which are shared by four houses. So this is something that should continue like that because it's helping communities who are in need. Sheikh Duel and Topia Sainego, it was a disaster. People, they were just going behind those trees to help them service, even just go to behind the building because there's no other way they can go. It was not hygienic because whenever you are going anyway, everything is just dirty and oh, it's so unhygienic and it was so tough for people. As part of the new sanitation and water reuse system, sanitation facilities for individual households, small wash houses shared by four families and a large public wash house have been built. The wastewater is collected in a vacuum sewerage system a closed system under negative pressure. Then it's transported to the wastewater treatment plant. Here it is treated in several steps. First anaerobically, without oxygen. In this way, carbon compounds are broken down and converted into biogas. Then the wastewater is treated aerobically, with oxygen. Rotating discs are covered with microorganisms, which when the discs rotate, come into contact alternately with air and wastewater. The microorganisms literally eat the contamination out of the wastewater. The carbon compounds are broken down even further, but the useful nutrients remain mostly intact. The water passes through a micro sieve. It captures the solid and turbid matter produced during the treatment. These solids make their way into a septic tank. Finally, UV rays are used to disinfect the wastewater. These rays damage any remaining bacteria, so they are no longer able to reproduce. The treated and disinfected wastewater is pumped into a storage tank and from there into fields used for farming. The biogas derived from the converted carbon compound is used to generate electricity, which is supposed to supply the system with new energy. The digested sludge is a natural fertilizer for fruit and vegetables. The income from the irrigation site is expected to partly finance the plant's operation in the future. Together. At the beginning it was like, oh, how? How it's going to work with the vacuum? Because in town we are only having a gravity sewer system. But now how it's going to work with the vacuum? I think that thing is not going to work due to the people are putting a lot of stuff in the system and maybe it's just going to work. The community health club, it's a group of community members whereby they come together 
and discuss things concerned about sanitation and hygiene. There are different topics to be discussed. For example, it can be like home care, where they can learn how to take care of their home environment, like cleaning the toilet, or either maybe washing their hands, or keeping their plate clean and cup in the houses. At least just to avoid the parasite to be there, where it leads to different infections and diseases. He's not there at least to tell them what to do and what not to do. He's just there to guide them, give them like different visual aids to discuss, and then they come up with a solution. And then they can also understand why they have that common toilet for the community or that can benefit everyone in that specific community. What was lacking is information. And you know, Mary said that uh, a person is made up of three E's. The first E is the environment that the person has been brought up in. The second E is the education that person has received. And the third E is the experience. I'm Philemon Tangim Sati. I'm a guy of 24 years old. I'm an operator at Otapi Wastewater Treatment Plant. If there is a problem in the plant, I know where is it. I know where to touch. I know where to, like, uh, there is a trouble in the USB. I know how to shooting the trouble inside. And that's how it just came, how to become an operator. It was very hard for me, but since I get the training, I get to use to it, and it was so, and there were one guy from Germany who is a, a technical manager here. He always stays saying, Haikela, please, don't give up. You just learn everything. Then from there, I started learning, and now I'm a good operator. That has been my first time to learn about uh water treatment and water use. I had not known that you can use water use before for irrigation. And at some point I didn't even believe it would work. But uh, several, two years down the line after the implementation of the project, it's proved that it's working and farmers are making more use of the reuse water. Yeah, now the water has been tested and it's better than the canal water that is just passing next by. So the water is almost at the level of drinking water. No, <laughs>
but the only problem that you are having is just during night night time the washing house is closed and people are still going to the oceana to do their own things or just behind their our treatment plan there they can just do their own things Hello. With a technology that is not known, I think it's the first one to be done in Namibia. Even in Africa, I've traveled around Africa, I've not seen any other project like that one. For sure, it's, it is something that uh, has brought a good thing within the village and within the community and within the country. Kuve Water, I know is is conducting research on that the program, but uh, to us, we found it more appropriate and uh, more useful to us. Uh, socially, the community is having the facility, you know, to use and to help themselves. The sanitation is provided to them. Economically, uh, the project is linked with the irrigation project that provides work for our people. And then uh, the reuse or the purification of the, the water itself. Instead of throwing away that water, then that water we reuse it for producing food. I wish this plant can work for more than, more than 50 years to come. Maybe the time I'm going to retire then the thing is still exist. Together we can make it. Together.